Well, welcome to the video guys. I know it's kind of windy outside, but as y'all can see, I do have the sea foam spray right here in my hand. And right now I'm going to try to sea foam my Mustang. Um, see how it works. The only downside is I don't have no help because it does require you to keep it at 200 RPMs while you, I mean 2000 RPMs while you spread, but let's just try it like this and see how it works. So the cool thing about this is super simple to do. You see, you got this little plug right here. You just take off the plug to the intake. You insert the little tube right here. And then turn the car on. And then you're basically spray. I also want to mention before you do this, make sure your car is at um, operation or operating temperature. Then you'll turn it off. You'll put this in, turn the car back on, and make sure you spray it. So let's get to that stuff. So I screw off my intake. Super simple. I kind of put the tube in this way. So you'll basically like set it in here, then you'll put the intake back on, and that's pretty much how it works. So let me do that real quick. So I kind of got the tube in as best as I can. You'll take that in and you'll put it where the seafoam is. So I got the seafoam connected to the car. So now let me go turn it on. I'm gonna try to make sure it don't fall though, because definitely wanna fall. But yeah, let me go turn it on and try to spread it like this and see how it works. So I got the car on, and I kind of just spread. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I am spraying it. All right, that thing came off. But yeah, make sure the thing don't come off either. But I'm gonna put it back on and continue to spray. So I'm back, guys. I sprayed about half of the can so far. I did see a little bit of smoke come out, but it might be best that you get help because it is definitely hard to try to spray this by yourself and keep the car at 200 RPMs. So that's the only downside doing this by yourself. So you definitely would need help doing this. But I feel like it worked a little bit because I did see a little bit of smoke. So let's go ahead and finish and top off the whole thing. So I just finished putting the can in. I sprayed it for a little while. Uh, I didn't see like no more smoke or anything. But I honestly think because I couldn't really open the valve that's in the inside because I had to spread it by myself. It was just open just a little bit, so that's why I definitely recommend, like I said, for y'all guys to make sure y'all have help. I'm gonna cut off for 10 minutes, I'm gonna drive it around, and I'm gonna let y'all guys know um, how it, did it work by myself, basically. So let me cut to that. What's up, guys? So I did drive around for around um, 10 minutes, and I did push it a little bit to try to, you know, flush out anything that's in here. I will like to say it felt like it worked, but I don't want to be one of those guys because I feel like a lot of people might not be using it correctly. They might be doing what I did. Um, that is something you should definitely not do when using this product. Make sure you have um, help and just anything like that because I know a lot of people kept saying that it doesn't work. Then you have a lot of people that said it does. I feel like maybe it does. I can't really say it because I didn't do it the right way. But you can't go on and try to do it by yourself because it's just not going to work. I did see a lot of smoke. My car did feel a little bit more responsible. I mean, responsive, so I can say that. But yeah, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Um, follow your boy, man, because I like doing like a lot of reviews. I know my niche kind of like all over the place. I mainly do reviews on anything. It could be car parts, it could be video games, it could be Airbnbs, <laughs> pretty much anything like reviews and how tos. So make sure y'all follow the boy and appreciate y'all guys for watching the video.